Hey everybody, welcome. March 2023 layout update. Change of pace here, little flatland action going on. Stay tuned, see what it got up to for the last six weeks. All right, so last video I talked about the Highway 3 overpass and how I wanted to get that done next so I could use that as a jumping off point to work further east along Island Lake. I got a start on the bridge but didn't get it finished. I did, however, get some scenery work done in the foreground here up at Crow's Nest and basically that just entails getting some gravel roads in. This goes down to in on the border. This is the access road, just dirt down to a shack. The shack's actually on the other side on the prototype but I put it out at the forefront here. Uh, this little road goes down to the lake. Fishermen access that uh, for ice fishing in the winter and just regular fishing, throw a boat in the water uh, to get down to um, uh, Summit Lake. So anyway, got a little access road down to the east uh, backtrack switch at Crow's Nest here. This is more or less done. Got to put some more scrub in here, some little short bushes, that kind of thing, just to bring some interest to this. Uh, and then I'm going to work my way further to the east. But before I do that, I decided to move to the lower level and get a little flat land scenery work done. So we're just going to backtrack to the east and watch our Jordan spreader roll through the Pincher Creek area. Pincher Station on the railroad. Uh, what I was working on was getting some backdrop done here. I'd never done backdrop work here. I just quickly threw the scenery in here for a photo op for a magazine and never got anything done beyond that. However, I wanted to do a series on flatland backdrops for my members, so I decided to throw some backdrop uh, painting in here. Of course, this scene is nowhere near done, but you can see that just a little bit of paint on the backdrop really adds some depth and some perspective. And as we come through the plywood here, this is where the pushers are stationed. This is the pincher push, two sets, and they assist trains westbound up the big grade. Before I continue with scenery here, I have to get Highway 3 laid into place and then I can keep going. Of course, that's gonna disappear into the backdrop behind a grove of trees or something. And as we come across the fill, uh, I got some scenic work done here, some static grass laid down, and you can see on the backdrop, this is where I actually got some detail work done. And then further on, we continue down across the Castle River, and this basically is just tying scenery in that existed from a couple of years back. So I received an email from a gentleman in Quebec City named Serge Labelle. Now Serge is an O scaler now, but used to do N scale. And he had a couple of cabins off his old layout that he wanted to see go to a good home. So asked if I could use them. I told him I would be happy to try to give them a good home. So they got shipped across the country. And when I opened up the package, I was absolutely floored. These are unbelievable models. Here they are temporarily sitting up at Burmis, but I'm gonna make a special spot for these at Sentinel when the time comes. Serge, thank you so much. These things are absolutely gorgeous. Be sure to pop over to his YouTube channel to see what he's doing in O scale. I'll put a link in the description. I also spent a little bit of time monkeying around with some motive power. I've had these two Rapido 840 CMs for some time. I wanted something else to go with them, so I picked up a Cato GE, and here you go, interlopers in Southern Alberta. Now my CN friends would say that this is really classing up the joint, but we don't want to open up that can of worms now, do we? So obviously the flatland scenery work is a big change of pace from what I've been working on the last few years with rivers, rocks, uh, trees, all that kind of good stuff. It also gives me the opportunity to keep the layout in a more usable state. I can make a mess, clean it up in a day. I don't have major projects where the layout's down for a couple of weeks at a time. So I'm going to be on the Canadian westbound from Winnipeg to Vancouver over the long weekend with my family. I'm going to try to document some of that if I can for you guys. Might send out a few shorts, so keep an eyeball peeled for that. That's it for this one, you guys. If you like what you see, smash the like button. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with what's going on. And if you're interested in how-to videos, consider hitting that join button. Whole bunch of videos over on the member side of the channel. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.